Hello everybody, welcome to Virtual Truck Driver Daily. Today's episode is number 303. 303? It's 503. It's number 503 and it's called Removing Day. How are we all doing today guys? I told you we were going to get mucky this week. And here is the final day of the live cattle move. We obviously dropped some new cows off here yesterday overnight the peeps at the farm I forgot what they're called a really nice lady actually she herded up what I don't know what you call it right but she got the cows to walk into the back of the trailer the older cows to walk into the back of the trailer and we're moving these older cows up to a auction get ready place before they go walk around a big field and people bid on them like eBay um, that's in Le Havre, Le Havre, Le Havre. So it's 348 kilometers away from where we are today, from where we started, I should say. It's five hours 27 minutes, and obviously it's 24 tons of live cattle again. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's weird because I pick this load up, and I'm normally, well, we all know I just flick it round and round about, and you know, with a curtain and a fridge on. But for some reason, I was taking my time. Like, I was being really careful about it when I was um, recording this episode because it was only on Monday that I recorded it, so obviously I still-ish remember what I was doing. But some beautiful views coming up today, guys. There's one there. There's another one in a few minutes' time, and it was just absolutely amazing. See, look, I'm taking it easy around the corners. It it feels weird because I know that they're not actually moving, but... It feels like it, if you get what I mean. It's hard to explain. So, yes. Right, let's get on to some other news. Yesterday, a video came out saying that I have Twitch. That is the truth. I do have a Twitch channel now. The link to that was in the bottom of um, that video's description. Um, the plan is to to stream the iRacing straight to Twitch. But... For some reason, the little practice streams I've done haven't showed up in, pra- in the past broadcasts list. So, I'm going to find out what issue is there. Um, obviously, if that issue can't be resolved, then I'll probably just stick to recording the races. Um, the only reason I wanted to get, uh, to move the races is because of the fact that the gigabytes they use is unreal. I'm going to take a quick sugar drink here a minute. So yeah, the the um, I've got two hard drives as it is, two one terabyte hard drives and a 250 gig SSD. Um, but I'm down into 400 gigs with the videos, and it's weird. Um, I've actually got to go start cleaning some things out. But um, so yeah, the plan is to just broadcast it straight to live stream it to Twitch. Um, obviously, got to see if it's still working and all that first. Failing that, I will just probably live stream to YouTube, but then the problem with that is that when I, I obviously upload my videos a day before, so I know what time they're coming out, I schedule them for the time that they're coming out, but with the live stream it just jumps everything and goes straight on to the uploads. So failing, if I can't get it to work like that, I mean keep it in order then I will probably just stream it and then upload the episodes and all the videos it's going to take some planning I will admit that but I've got over a week yet I won't be bothered about it until a week today because obviously it's Friday for you guys it's Thursday for me Um, I'm not doing the first race of the iRacing IMSA series at Suzuka I really don't like Suzuka to be truthful um, I've always hated that track, really, to be truthful. Especially even on F1. But, oh yeah, this is another beautiful view coming up. Absolutely beautiful. I want to drive some more around DLC France because it's really, really nice. But, um, so yeah, it's the same deal as yesterday with the reverse, and to be truthful, nice little tricky ass to get us going. Uh, this this was actually really really nice to drive up to. I don't know why, but it was weird. So going back to the videos, um, the live stream. 
it's going to take some planning I openly admit that and I'm rubbish at planning things so I don't really know what to do I'm still thinking of it but at the same time I'd like to do it live I'd like but at the same time then I've got to think will that broadcast then kill my FPS to a point where it's physically impossible to drive around the track or with the stuttering um, or, or I might just keep it normal and then I can just edit it and things like that it's it's something I'm going to do some more looking at over the weekend um, and truthfully gotta see, gotta see what's happening really to be truthful um, I'd, li I'd like to do it but again it's means to an end and home circumstances factor in quite a lot what I mean by home circumstances is that I don't have a bedroom door. My sister broke her original one, slamming it. And obviously she's she's 18, 19, and she wants her own space. So I gave her my door. And now I need to find a door to replace mine that my sister's got. So currently I have a curtain. I have my Champions League... Borussia Dortmund scarf and I have the DFB Pokal scarf for 2014-15-16 hanging on as well um, I'm getting the 17 when I hopefully go to James on tour I will have some news regarding James on tour Dortmund 2017 tomorrow's video so yeah um, that one will be a good one to watch out for because um, well I'll explain tomorrow's video to be truthful. I don't really want to do it now. Especially with being so far to the end. So yeah. Um, no more live cattle for me tomorrow. I am coming coming home to Hull. So let me double check before I open my mouth. Yeah we're carrying 9 tons of empty barrels tomorrow. It's already loaded up and waiting for me. So. It took me a few attempts but I got it in. In the end. Again, I want to ask SES if you can make the templates available to to skin the cattle trailer, put it in livery, whatever you want to call it these days. It's livery for me because it came from a racing motorsport background. But on that note, thank you all for watching. It means an absolute lot to me that you're still here and supporting me. And I will see you again tomorrow for a hashtag James on tour update. Take care, guys.